So what's going on with the hair? Well, I, just, I, I had it this length, and then the Strictly hair people, they, for uh, the Pulp Fiction dance, you know, John Travolta yeah. had yeah. that pony, they just sewed in like a weave at the back and then gelled it, so it was all fake. It was all the wonder of TV. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, because when goodness. you cut your hair mid strictly, didn't you? Because lots yeah. of people talked about your hair. What, what made you do that? Um, well, there were a few things. I was doing it, f I was going to do it at Christmas for um, a, a, what's it called? The Little Princess mm. Trust. And that's, they, you donate your hair to people that have alopecia or cancer. Yeah. But Strictly heard that and was straight away like, let's cut your hair, like, <laughs> we'll make it look like this. And um, I said, yeah, of course. So. Uh, then the next week I needed long hair, and so that's when I like, got my first introduction into the world of wigs. And how did it, how did it feel when you... Because you'd had your hair and your lovely curls yeah. for a long time, hadn't you? Yeah. It was your signature, really, when, in the one <laughs> particularly. Yeah. How did that feel? Suddenly that was all gone. You know, honestly, I wasn't that bothered because when we were kids, there was four, four lads and then my little sister, and when we were little, we used to, like, grow our hair long and then my mum would, like, like, put us over the kitchen tiles and just... Do a, a Did you all one. get the same haircut? All the same hair, and it would oh. all be like down to the bottom. And there was four of us, so <laughs> me and my twin brother, we'd go into school, and I'd be like, she missed a bit behind your ears, and we'd cut the little <laughs> bit that she left. Oh. So I, we were like sheep. We got, had long hair and then sheared it off. Like and so sheep. You, <laughs> you, you and my hubby Jack, you both had big curly hair. Yeah, he's still it. got it. He's a bit dated, obviously, still rocking the bigger hair. He's a wicked guy. And um, <laughs> he's got like ringlets and stuff. But you two, like, at one point, you look like you're having a, like, a competition. So yeah, and they were the just getting saffron. bigger and bigger. I know. Last time I saw you, Sorry, Janet. Last yeah. time I saw you, you were swinging a bride round at a wedding and then swinging around the lamppost. We had an amazing time Paddy at a wedding, Marcy. do you remember? Yes. Yeah. Wasn't that a good night? I mean, I only lasted for about four hours and then I, think I had to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, come, so you didn't wash your hair for us today, then? No, well, because of the show that I'm doing now, it's a pain to sort of keep it in place. So it's had a little, like, rinse... Yeah. And uh, but mostly this is what it will look like tonight. Now, is this the show? It. Is this the show? Keep dancing. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, two of your audience were there last yeah. night. Uh, you, you've travelled quite a way. So hi again. Milton Keynes. you have made their day now. So it's called Keep Dancing, and I think uh, it was a little bit like, after Strictly. Me and Ali didn't want to let go. We wanted to go back and do it again. And I actually only realised two nights ago. I was like, Keep dancing. Oh, it's the thing they do at the <laughs> end. I had no idea until I was there. Yeah. But yeah, we're doing um, four dances in that, and I mean, they're really quick. They're quicker than what we did on Strictly. Mm. So, I mean, I was out of shape and I'd come off like. <laughs> but uh, it's in, um, hold on, let me get it right so I don't get told off afterwards. Uh, we're in Milton Keynes now, then we're going to go to Wimbledon, and then uh, Lewis Smith, he's doing it, yeah. and your loose woman, Lisa, uh, Lisa Riley, Riley yeah. she's doing it. Would you like me to help you out? Yeah, go on, help Manchester, me out. Manchester, <laughs> Liverpool, <laughs> Edinburgh, <laughs> Birmingham. Cardiff, and it's running until December the right. 10th, and then hopefully dates for next year will be announced soon because it's obviously going to be massively successful. Mm -hmm. So coming to a town or city near you, keep right. dancing on its UK tour. Um, did you keep dancing after Strictly and before this? You know, we did uh, we did a, a Strictly tour for a while, which was so fun because it was uh, the exact dances from the show, but. Uh, but without judges, I mean, sending you home, yeah. possibly, at the end. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, I think, I don't know. I, I, after that, I did nothing, and I sort of... And I sort of went out and, like, just ate at all pizza. the time. <laughs> and, yeah, the whole thing. Well, so it was a shock doing Strictly yeah. on, on, the, on the weekend, you know, with a launch show. I was there show. for the live show. Yeah, Leslie, so, yeah. And, and we bumped into each other in the corridor. Yeah, it was, it was an amazing dance, it really Thank was. Thank you, yeah. Fantastic. I mean, I was out of shape, but now, like, with doing this one... With your tour oh. and everything, you're not going to have a lot, a lot of chances to watch uh, this season's show as it progresses. Right. Now, I have a secret crush on Ed Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I announced it on the show the other day and I actually went up to him and told him and he looked absolutely Scared terrified. He was <laughs> <laughs> terrified and standing in front of Len Goodman. <laughs> so, what do you rate his chances? Um, I think, well, you know, uh, you know, remember Jeremy Vine? Yeah. yeah. So, he, like, he wasn't in any way trained or anything like that and he... People loved him and he went so far. Yeah. And so, I think, if, you know, if people fall in love with his personality and if he goes out... Remember um, Ainsley? He got yes. out and did some yeah. salsa, and Aliona was yeah. like, "Oh, he's not doing his ball here." <laughs> and, but, uh, but we were both looked at him like, "But he's dancing, you know." I mean, yeah. he really was. So if he just goes out and has yeah. fun, then that's what people. Well, people apparently see. his wife Yvette said that he's got really good rhythm, so that's part of it, isn't it? I bet oh. she did. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is going to win it? I don't know. I mean, uh, I spoke to some of the dancers and they said that the girls this year are all amazing and the boys are definitely better than our year. And I'm like, all right. Oh, <laughs> but, um, no, no, no. I think uh, Naga is, is going to be awesome yeah, yeah. and uh, I think Melvin and, and Jeanette are going to be a really cool and couple Leslie to Joseph watch. And Leslie well, Joseph and Leslie Joseph. Well, and Leslie Joseph, yeah. <laughs> yeah.
we get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. <laughs>